for this lesson, go ahead and just create a brand new document. That's all. Choose anything you want to. Let's talk a little bit more about guides. Now, to me, guides are very important. They help me. Well, they guide me, okay? They help me line things up. I can't think of a complex or, I don't know, even a semi-complex kind of document that I've worked on in Illustrator where I've not wanted to use guides. Now, guides come from the rulers. If you don't have them open, you can go to the word view and say show rulers, or you can press control, that's control in Windows, command on a Mac, R, to bring them up. Now, let's talk about what we do know, and then I'll show you one or two features that are new to CC. Number one, if we don't like what it's measuring in, we right-click our mouse in the ruler and change it. It's not new. Been there forever. Nice to know. If we want a guide, we pull it out of the ruler. Again, not new. We can do that all day long. If we want a guide to conform to a tick mark on the ruler bar, we hold the Shift key when we're dragging, and it forces it to just those tick marks. Again, that's not new, but it's nice to know that you've got that. Let go of the mouse before you let go of the shift key. Now let me go ahead and select these and delete them. They are objects. They can be deleted. The other one that's not new, up in the upper left-hand corner is what I call the Genesis point. It's where it measures zero from this point going down this way. Let's say I put a, I don't know, put a box on the screen like this. And let me go ahead and give it a color real quick so we can see it. And for the sake of argument here, I need another box that's exactly 72 pixels from the right side of that box. Now, there are a lot of ways that I can do that, all right? But if I come up here and grab in this area right here between the rulers and drag, and it'll lock me right there if I want to go there, that's my new zero point. So I could then, well, I could bring a guide just to make sure, hold the shift key, go right to 72, I start drawing again, I'm exactly 72 from that one. If I double click up here, it resets it. Let me go ahead and let's get rid of those two things. The new features. Number one, if I need a guide that's vertical or horizontal, I don't have to drag it out. All I have to do is come up here and double click. That's new. It's also easy. But what if I need it at exactly 288? Well, I can try to get there if I want to. I know I can move it if I don't correctly position it. But if you hold the Shift key down before you double click, it will put it toward the closest tick mark on the ruler. So just get close. You're going to be okay. Let me go ahead and select and delete these one more time. One more feature. If we go back up to this point right here between the rulers, the zero point, and hold the control key in Windows, command key on a Mac, down before we drag. And it looks about the same, but watch what happens. I've dragged down two guides exactly where I wanted them. If I do that again, control key on Windows, command key on a Mac, I could begin placing guides on the screen in a very quick way. Guides to me are indispensable. They really do help us do things in this program. And with these two new features, they just became more valuable.